Hello, welcome to Kinematics. And today we are going to learn about NSE and Smart Software Trading Skill Accelerator. So I'm just sharing the screen about Trading Skill Accelerator uh, manual. And as you can see it on your screen, uh, the chapter two is Trading Skill Accelerator. That is uh, for 10th standard, first module in NSE and Smart Software. It is chapter two because chapter one is about how to log in in NSE and smart software. And that is already be, uh, being covered in the video. So uh, the video is being uploaded, so you can watch it there. So we'll just start with what is the trading skill accelerator software. So here in this module, uh, we need not uh, forget that uh, the two modules which were done in ninth standard, that is numeric key accelerator and function key accelerator. So this both modules has the relevant importance and that is being carried forward in trading skill accelerator in a practical manner. So what is the main objective of the trading skill accelerator module is to develop a skill set required to identify instructions, that is how while trading online, how to buy and sell and execute the required transaction in the uh, within the time interval selected, maintaining the speed act and accuracy. So here we need to understand that we have to also maintain the speed and the accuracy along with the execution of transaction. So in the software, everything in the report would be captured. That is how much successful trade you have done, how much unsuccessful trade you have done, skip uh, the attempt of trades, what were the time intervals, what are the uh, speed and the accuracy level while doing that. So here, the accuracy uh, speed, uh, the level goes from, from 15 seconds to one second, the trade should be executed. And at the same, uh, same time, we have to develop a habit of buying and selling skills at the same time on the trading platform. So in this uh, module, we are basically having a practice hand and how uh, the NSE trading platform works. So this session uh, would be of 10 minutes and it would be at a stretch on Nifty 50 shares uh, because it is NSE software. So uh, Nifty 50 shares which are listed on the NSE, they are being displayed and every time uh, the, the timer would be on as soon as we start the test. So we uh, come to the next part. So when we uh, see on the screen, uh, when we log in, uh, we see modules, and there, uh, after uh, clicking on modules, we get to see on the screen that is Trading Skill Accelerator and Arithmetic Skill Accelerator. In Trading Skill Accelerator, as soon as we click to start on Trading Skill Accelerator, we, are, uh, we would get the next screen, which would be this as follows. So, the, uh, as in, we have seen in the previous uh, thing that is in function key accelerator, we have seen the symbols of the company. Yes, so that has been uh, the first step that is you have to select alt down arrow key. Then you have to select the symbol of the company which you want to practice. So next there would be a tab button to move to the time interval to be selected and the time interval range from 15 seconds to uh, one second, okay? So after selecting with the down arrow key, then you have to press tab and the enter, uh, start button would be popped up and to start, you have to press it, enter key. So as soon as you press the enter key, your module, practice module starts. So first test is of 10 minutes. All the tests would be of 10 minutes. Only the difference would be the time interval selected. So the trading instruction time interval will change every after, as you can see, 15 seconds. We have selected 15 seconds for the time interval. So trading instructions, as you can see on the screen, this part, trading instructions for uh, sell or buy would be for 15 seconds. And after that, it would change automatically. So here, if the instruction is of sell, it would always appear in red color and you have to press uh, F2 or minus button to open the cell window. To put down the price and quantity of respective trade, you have to press for cell F2, function key that is F2, and or um, minus button to open the cell window. And
and the same lies for uh, by uh, instruction for trading. You have to press function F1 or plus button to buy uh, start the buy window. So in this part of this uh, sheet, you can see that what instruction is being given. So every after 15 minutes, the instruction would change. Sorry, 15 seconds, the instruction would set. So if there is a buy instruction, then um, it would appear in blue color. So for buy, it is F1 and minus F1 or plus button to start the buy window. So now it is displayed that it is a sell window. It has been seen, it is a sell window. So you have to type after uh, getting the instruction of trading for sell, you have to type first function F2 or you can also press minus button with the ring finger. Okay, in the first module we have learned. But here, uh, the buy price, buy quantity, sell price, and sell quantity is also being displayed. So, which price to put in the symbol? So, if uh, there is a buy price and there uh, buy instruction, you need to put sell price and sell quantity. And if there is a sell instruction, you need to put a buy price and buy quantity. Okay. So, it is reversed. When the instruction is of buy, you have to put sell price and sell quantity. And when the instruction is of sell, you have to put buy quantity and buy price. So here also blue and red color is being shown. So here this displays that the, uh, the price or the quantity in comparison of previous broadcast, uh, if it is decreased from the previous broadcast uh, price, then it would show in uh, red color. And if the previous broadcast price uh, have increased, uh, comparison, uh, the current broadcast price have increased, then that price um, price or quantity would be highlighted in blue color. Okay, so here yeah. so we'll start uh, with the first uh, as it is a cell instruction being given, we press F2 uh, or minus button and after that uh, the screen would start off putting the quantity and price. So for cell instruction the quantity is always on the extreme right hand side and then uh, cell price uh, is there. So you have to put the quantity first of buy price that is buy quantity and buy price. So first it, you have to put 146 is the buy quantity and buy price is 1560.30. In the cell instruction, you uh, remember that you have to put buy quantity and buy price. So as soon as you put the correct quantity of buy and price of buy, you would have to press enter plus control key. So the trade would be executed successfully. So, okay, so enter plus control key. So remember the cell instruction F2 or minus key, then buy quantity, tap, buy price, enter plus control key. To close the buy and sell window during the session, you can always use escape key. And if you stop the practice session in between, the allotted time then would, uh, you, you have to press that alt plus S key so that allotted time would stop. If the price, just remember, if the price and quantity of enter plus control key is pressed before the time interval, that is 15 seconds, to complete the current exercise, it would be counted as successful attempt. If the price and quantity is within the time interval, but pressing the enter and control key after the time interval, it would create two attempts for that trade. And if the enter and control key not entered and the time interval has also lapsed, such attempt will be counted as skip attempt. Since the time has lapsed and the new session have already started, you are, so you have to uh, populate it pressing the enter and control key will execute respective transaction. So do not put uh, press enter and control key for respective transaction. It would be counted as unsuccessful attempt of the previous session as you have entered the previous session data. So after completion of total time, 
total time is being completed that is 10 minutes of that particular session the session will come to an halt and no new session will uh, open to open uh, the new session you need to restart to, to restart alt plus r uh, button should be pressed and if you want to view the uh, scoreboard you have to press alt plus c for more details you can also see the notes which are being uploaded in the session and um, uh, practices uh, the sessions more and more so that you can get a good hand on that exercise. So here you can see it is a by instruction. So we'll press F1 or plus C. Then uh, we, uh, the trade execution starts as it is a by uh, instruction. We'll put sell quantity price first and then tab. Then we have to uh, put the 1603.40, that is the sell price. Okay. And then enter plus control key. So after that, you will see the scoreboard, which is as uh, this as for. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, do practice it well. So thank you.